Hello again. I'm about to get in the car and drive 20 miles to Ottawa, Illinois and pay a visit to the Krug brothers, Jason and Matt, who own and operate Lost Creek Machine Tools. I've talked about them many times. I do not work for them and this is not a sponsored video. However, they are going to give to me for the good of the cause, that South Bend vertical milling machine that I've been talking a lot about. So they're really good guys and they've helped me a lot on my channel. But I'm going to go over there right now and make arrangements with Matt to bring that over here before it starts snowing. But while I'm there, I do understand that they recently made one of the biggest, well, the single biggest purchase of an accumulation and collection of tools and machinery that they have ever made and I would think it probably was quite an investment so we'll go over there and uh, pick through the plunder and uh, just get the enjoyment of that as well as make arrangements for that machine but uh, if you see anything you like there be sure to go to their website and you know everything's going to be available for sale, but there is so much merchandise, so many tools that they are unable to uh, store it all. So most of it's just sitting around in uh, on tables or in boxes. It's not all been sorted through or priced, but it, I tell you what, it's exciting uh, to, to look at stuff like that, so I can't wait to get over there. So why don't you come with me and take the next half hour and enjoy this video. See you in Ottawa. Howdy, it's Mr. Pete again. I hope you can hear me over the wind, but I'm here in Ottawa, Illinois again at Lost Creek Machinery, and I understand that Matt made a real big purchase of tools and machinery, and we're going to go in and take a little inventory of it and enjoy ourselves kind of uh, digging through or rooting through this stuff. So come on with me. I'm at Lost Creek Machinery today making arrangements for Matt Krug to deliver this South Bend mill to my garage which is about 20 miles away. Winter is starting to set in. I'd like to get it done before we get our first snow. Okay, let's take a look at some of these tools that are sitting on top of the pink granite surface plate. Here's a brand new in-the-box tailstock chuck. Number three, Morse taper, and this is ball bearing, and the whole chuck rotates. Quite a few boxes of steroter. I wonder what we all have. I don't think that's steric. There's a nice indicator set. Brand new apparently. Depth micrometer, SPI. Remember when I bought one of these used a few days ago? I call it a half depth mic. Combination square set. Look what's in this long red box. Yeah, and you've got 72 hours from the time they take the test 
that test becomes a valid. So you have to get the test, get the results, and get to the border and clear the in 72 hours. So we, we go to Canada frequently fishing in Northwestern Ontario. You'll have to get a test right in there, too. Well, and be double vaxxed. I am not vaxxed. So, I mean, I, I, I just have. Okay, I'm in the Lost Creek office right now, and this is the office manager right here that's in charge of the whole place. So if you want a good deal, you got to deal with her. <laughs> so this is some of the other tools that they bought. And uh, let's take a look at some of this because there's some interesting items here. And we got a Dalmatian fire dog here too. And I'm either in trees roll up. Parallels. Brand new protractor. No can open. Hello, Pooch. What's the dog's name? Livy. Livy? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. hi, Livy. And I'm in the day. Met the Toyo something here. I don't know what that is. That? Open it back up. And over here are several brand new bison six jaw chucks, about six inches in diameter.
A lot of cutting tools on this table. Brand new milling cutters, yeah. inserts. Depends what sizes they are, is a great problem. That is stuff they don't even use anymore. Some nice Jacobs ball bearing chucks. Tooling. More brooches. Yeah. Are you overwhelmed yet? Over in this area, there's so much merchandise, tooling, cutting tools, and so on that it hasn't been organized yet. It is just in boxes and on tables until it can be put into inventory. Endless amounts of brand new carbide tooling. End mills. Collets. Inch and a quarter, I believe. Here's an entire tote. Big tailstock turret, bed turret if anyone needs one, and a big pipe vise, and a pretty good sized cabinet here with I'm not sure what all. Very deep drawers. Okay, let's see what's in here.
rotary tables. Lots of files. Sockets. Yeah, the quantity of tools here. Here's another set of drawers. Looks like mainly wrenches here. Hand tools. Sockets. <laughs> Buckets full of drill bits and reamers and miscellaneous cutting tools of all kinds. A whole pallet load here. micrometers big ones well, what else you look at yeah, I'm seeing what I need to see for now yeah okay, let's go. there's a couple of adapters over there not sure what this thing is Nash is a big drill press yeah you know, Lots of big boring bars in here. Many boxes of brand new cutters. I think that's an M head. Boy, there's a rotary table and a half. And you would need a forklift to mount that. Well, there's the forklift. Here's a beautiful find. A finger jointed sterret box with one, two, three, four, five, six brand new micrometers.
very recently, just like that. I, I didn't find the indicator. That was one that we had here. Oh, okay, the indicator. Was yeah, out. that was missing. But all right. I'm still at Lost Creek, and all of a sudden, it started snowing. It's November 12th. And I knew winter was coming, but I didn't think it would come before I would get home today. Kind of nasty out all of a sudden. It's already accumulating just a little bit on the hood of the car. I do hope you enjoyed that video at Lost Creek Machinery and yeah, the snow came, didn't it, all of a sudden when I was over there. It's only November 12th, the day after Veterans Day, but in Northern Illinois, you never know. We might get in your summer again, but I hope you enjoyed that visit and maybe even saw something there you'd like to buy. I don't, I don't know. I sure did, but I got so much stuff that I have to refrain from any more purchases, as you know. So. Thanks for watching. Remember, I have 1,300 shop videos, and I'll see you in some of those videos. So long for now.